Right, this one is for module six homework. Question number 33. Uh, you receive a brochure from a large university. The brochure indicates that the mean class size for full-time faculty is fewer than 33 students. Look at what they are claiming here, fewer than 33 students. If you write that using symbols, if you write that using symbols, right. This is from the previous problem. I think I'm going to keep these. Um, but when, when we're talking about mean, we are estimating mu, right? So what they are saying has to be the alternative claim because fewer than 33 does not include 33 is strictly less than 33. So that's going to be the null hypothesis, I'm sorry, the alternative hypothesis. But um, if alternative is saying mu is less than 33, um, the null has to say mu is greater than or equal to 33 because it has to be the opposite. So I think based on that, I can answer the first part, um, which of the following correctly states H naught and H A. The null is saying that it is greater than or equal to 33, uh, alternative is stating that mu is less than 33. So you have to be able to read these keywords in English and then write them in symbols and gotta know that no has to have equal piece, okay? They want us to find technology to find p-value. I'll go ahead and do this in stack crunch, okay? So open this in stack crunch. What? All right, let me log in first. Mm. What? Let me try again. Open this in stack crunch. Oh, I think it worked this time. So let's see what, what test are we doing? See, there are so many tests. Okay, we have to read and figure out what's going on. So um, you want to test this claim. You randomly select 18 classes taught by full-time faculty and determine the class size of each. The results are shown in the table. At alpha equals 0 0.05, can you support the university's claim? Uh, complete A through D below, assume population is normally distributed. See, with a such smaller, you know, sample size of only 18 classes, I needed to know this. Um, population is normally distributed. So the question is, is it T test or Z test we are doing? Um, you read in section, what section is this? 7.2, 7.2 and 3, um, that... If you are testing a claim about mean without population standard deviation, you have to do t-stat. Nowhere in this problem, they gave us population standard deviation. They didn't give that information to us, okay? So you're gonna open up stat, t-stat, one sample, and tell them that we have data this time. We got everything typed up in that first column. And then just click on bar one, and we have to change this um, inequality. So the alternative has to be mu is less than um, the number is 33. And don't worry about the null hypothesis saying it is mu equal to 33. As long as you match that mu is less than 33 in the alternative, stack crunch will find the right p-value for you. And that's all. You just have to click on compute. Ta -da! And the p-value is right there. And I just need to type that in. So round to three decimal places, 0 0.019. And we say this is a successful test because the p-value came out very small. And we were comparing this p-value to the alpha level of 0 0.05. This is almost 2%. 2% is smaller than 5%. So when p-value is less than alpha, you reject the H naught. Reject H naught because the p-value is less than the significance level. All right, interpret this result. So what does that mean? We rejected the claim that mu is greater than or equal to 33. When we reject the null hypothesis, you go and believe the alternative hypothesis. So in this case, we have enough evidence to believe that mu is less than 33, and that was what was being claimed on this brochure, right? So at 5% level, uh, level of significance, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the mean class size for full-time faculty is fewer than 33 students. So you have to be very careful on this very last part when you are interpreting this decision in the context of the original claim because the wording can be somewhat confusing. But what we have to pay attention to is that we rejected the claim, the null hypothesis, and went with the alternative 
and then the claim being made was the alternative hypothesis, right? So we have enough evidence to believe what this brochure was talking about. So that's it for number um, 33 on module 6 homework.